you like or you don't like, I am best fighter in the world right now. Thank you. Oh, it's oh. the best oh. the cup shot. Oh, that's how you time a takedown. Yeah, let's see, see who has the better. Oh. Islam Makashev, formerly known as Khabib's training partner, now the UFC lightweight champion of the world. Hailing from the mountains of Dagestan, there was no doubt about Islam's grappling, as most kids are learning sambo before they can walk. And being a combat sambo champion himself, his abilities are ahead above everyone else. Starting from a young age, Islam trained on one of the best coaches in the world, Khabib's father. For my coach, Abdul Manab Nurmagomedov, many years ago, he told me, just training hard and you gonna be champion. Islam Makhachev! Islam Makhachev! Islam started his MMA career as a dangerous grappler. But even at an early age, Islam has already shown that he's got dynamite in his hands. Finishing his opponents with both knockouts and submissions, truly embracing the term mixed martial arts. He will dominate every single opponent for the next four years. Well, here we go, Ian. Like you say, experience versus youth. Combat sambo throws, but not this time. He's on his back. He's mad. We'll see him. Certainly not. Some, some of these are really going through on the chin. Oh, oh, is he out? Oh, he goes for Arbo. Right. He switches to Arbo. This is a bit exact. That is, he's got that Arbo. He In his last fight before entering the UFC, he will face Ivica Trusik, a veteran fighter with 45 fights under his belt. The young Islam would outclass Trusik for three whole rounds, make him look like a novice on the ground, before eventually submitting him with a triangle choke. And the closing seconds of this third round looks as if it's going to be exactly the same. And he taps! He taps! Islam entered the UFC with a perfect 11-0 record against his first opponent Leo Kunz, who was also making his debut at the time. To no one's surprise, Islam grabs a hold of Leo and proceeds to throw him onto his back. Ah, glorious! A beautiful demonstration of the Sambo techniques of Makachev. Leo will survive the first round but it wouldn't be long before Islam got on his back again and sank in the rear naked choke. Yep. And he's on top, which is much, oh, it's underneath the chin. Trying to Leo's out. It is all over! Beautiful job by Makachev. Great UFC debut! Islam tasted defeat for the first time in October 2015. His opponent, Adriano Martins, was also an elite grappler, and Islam decided to fight him on the feet instead. Perhaps believing his knockout power would give him an edge. A mistake his coach would criticize later on. Following his defeat, Islam will take a year off and refocus his training on grappling and striking defense, becoming much more disciplined with his aggression while standing. He will fight Chris Wade for his return in September 2016, another elite wrestler. Heeding his coach's advice this time, Islam will waste no time in taking his opponent down, catching Chris with a few near submissions. Makachev staying committed to the triangle choke here. And get that left arm of Wade. Get the but Chris is no slouch on the ground either and it would be exciting back and forth grappling exchange, with both fighters having their moment. Gets the knee clear. The entry is to try knee slide, turn the corner. Oh, beautiful reversal for Magachev. He can get set up the heel hook. And the winner, by unanimous decision, Islam Magachev. Islam will eventually win the decision, giving him even more confidence in his ground game. That was a very tough fight, but thanks God I won this one. I fight really safely, you know, because I need this win. After this one, I tried to put my best performance in the cage. Islam's next opponent, Nick Lenz, is another grappler. 
but against Islam, someone who started wrestling before he can even walk. Nick would get outclassed on the ground for three whole rounds. Good job right there, elevating and right back up to his feet, almost. Caught the knee, step behind on the opposite side, little bit of a foot sweep. Islam here, controlling that inside with the left leg, would, would, it affects your breathing. It makes like, there you go. Ooh, beautiful, right into the mouth. beautiful mouth. See if he can get Makachev. Elevate the leg, wow. yeah. An excellent control by Makachev. Clear victory for Makachev, but in your mind, not what he's capable of. Although it was a dominant win, Islam received some criticism regarding his inability to finish his opponent and playing his game too safe. A criticism he would later silence in the first minute of his next fight, reminding everyone that this elite grappler can shut your lights out with more than just submissions. I'm very happy. This tough opponent. Now I'm ready for top 15. Give me please type top 15 guys. His next opponent, Cajun Johnson, wanted nothing to do with Islam's grappling. Dancing around the outside so he wouldn't get boxed in and taken down. But Islam would stalk his opponents down, pin him against the cage, and proceed to cut through Cajun's guard like butter. Finishing the fight with an armbar. This is where he's good at, right? Securing the double leg. Should hear DC. Yep, and you know these guys do combat sambo their entire life. Present an opportunity to get a sub. It's over. He'll go get it. There it is. He's got the arm. And there's the tap. I want to say one thing. Hey, DC, tell this guy I I deserve for top 15, or I want to fight with Brock Lesnar. Bruh. <laughs> Islam will face Armin Sarukian in April 2019. Another elite Russian wrestler. Unlike his last opponent, Sarukin did not shy away from a grappling exchange, taking down Islam for the first time in his UFC career. It would be a hard-fought three rounds, but Islam would secure the unanimous decision by using some of the most beautiful foot sweeps in the octagon. Yeah, I agree. Unless you can ambitious call out, so oh, no. oh, Wipes away the leg, runs the pipe down to the mat. I think Marcus Jeff senses that. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Islam Now rank 15, Islam will fight Davy Ramos in his next match. A third degree in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, who submitted three of his last four opponents. He also hit one of the most spectacular flying arm bars in ADCC finals. Hey. Winning him the gold medal in one of the most prestigious grappling competitions. Islam will keep this fight on the feet, where you have a slight advantage, catching Davy with a big knee in the third round. Oh, he gets him with the knee. Oh, and he hurts him Huge knee. And controlling him for the rest of the fight, taking home the decision. By unanimous decision, Islam gotcha. Perhaps not satisfied his last two fights both went to a decision, Islam will submit all three of his next opponents, with the first being Drew Dober in March 2021. Islam will ragdoll Drew in the first minute of every round, nearly catching Drew with an armbar in the first round. He takes the left versus Dober. Oh, look at that oh, arm. Look at that roll. He's going to break his arm. Drew's, still, Drew's okay here. If he can't get that arm, he's going to switch to that leg. Slick transition wow. there to that arm Man, arm. some serious grappling. Mistake he will fix in the third, when he sank in the arm triangle from the half guard, which is not even the best position to finish that choke. He will later show us the same technique two years later, done to perfection. Submits wow. Drew Dober! Wow. Right, you don't know until you know. Man, everybody knows. Everybody Dude's knows. Dude's the real deal. Yeah. In his fight with Thiago Moises, Islam will grind him down on the ground for three whole rounds. Dope. Waiting to be taken down. Oh, wow. Eventually taking his back and forth and sinking in the rear naked choke. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people in the lightweight division thinking, you might want to sidestep that guy. Islam quickly became the fighter you wanted to avoid at lightweight, especially after his next opponent, Rafael Dos Anjos, got injured and had to pull out. Dan Hooker would step up to the challenge. And we need to give Dan props for taking on a fighter who stylistically is a nightmare for him to fight. Dan will spend an entire month training just on his grappling defense and escapes, but Islam will still make short work of this fight. He's getting close. Yeah, he's starting to attack that now. 
showing us just how quickly he can dismantle opponent not specializing in grappling. That's oh it. my goodness! There's Lama Kashyab! Wow! The mixed game hooker in round one! Well, now it's time. This guy number six. Now I have to talk. I'm ready for, ti for title fight. Please, anyone, doesn't matter. As if the universe is playing a joke on Islam, his next opponent will also pull out due to an injury. It would take Bobby Green stepping in to save this event, as nobody in the top 15 will agree to fight Islam on short notice. Trademark there we go. We gotta let him have now it's a Bobby Green fight. <laughs> Alright gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Perhaps more confident right, in his own right, ability to get a right. UFC belt than anybody else. I mean, he is relentless locked, and he's got... Hands are locked. Yeah. Oh, watch the Kimura. Just like he got Dan Hooker. The result was no surprise to the fans. Islam would take Bobby down and smash him until Herb Dean stopped the fight. That's gonna do it. Wow. That is 10 wins in a row. Four stoppages in a row. I mean, it almost seems stupid to ask you, what do you want next? I just want a title fight. No more. Oh, always ready, always training hard. Just tell me when and where, and that's it. Now on a 10-fight win streak, it is no longer possible for the UFC to ignore Islam, and they gave him the title shot against Charles Oliveira, a dangerous grappler with excellent striking abilities. Islam, you respect that, but you, you really believe you're going to smash this guy? Of course, I really believe because brother, he lose in the UFC seven times, brother. He's not gonna upset if he if he lose if he lose one more time. Bruh. And this guy champion in my division, I'm very upset because. <laughs> so so what you're saying is this: This is the main event of the evening. The prized student of the late great Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. Here's pressure and that strength and that Sambo wrestling background that just scares the hell out of guys. You guys don't want to face him. During this fight, Islam's ability to take Oliveira down came as no surprise. The pressure of Oliveira. Oliveira takes him to the ground here. Brilliant Portuguese to tell Charles Oliveira oh! his hand off the top of the octagon. But his striking will catch Oliveira off guard, dropping him in the second round. Ask God, but He gave me always more than what I ask. Alhamdulillah. Islam and Volkanovski, two of the most well rounded and dominant champions currently in the UFC. Let's do it. Hey, the lightweight on the line, pound for pound, number one on the line. Let's do it. For his very first title defense, Islam not only called out the current number one pound for pound fighter, but also agreed to fight him in his hometown. The world is it will be an extremely close fight, with Islam starting off strong, catching the Aussie and controlling him on canvas. And he loses this fight, but look at that! <laughs> Amazing! But Volkanovski will rally by the end of the fifth round, throwing bombs from the guard. Oh, oh, right and hand. he hurts him! Last attempt for Volkanovski! Trying to steal the victory! Awesome, man, he's gonna fight. That's how you end the fight. For the winner, by unanimous decision, still! Although Islam won the decision, many fans believe Volkanovski won the fight based off the damage he inflicted. Let's show the champion some respect. I can get the job done, but I pulled up short tonight. Congrats to Islam. Uh, maybe we'll settle pound for pound number one again. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Love you, Zola. Thank you. UFC 294. Originally set up as a rematch between Islam and Oliveira, but Oliveira would get injured and need to pull out. Volkanovski would step up on two weeks' notice to once again face a lightweight boogeyman Islam Makachev. 
They're all on my side now. Man, last time, last time in Australia, brother. Everything is changed, everything is changed. He's like, he needs all the advantages he can get, that's all he thinks about. I don't need none of that. I rely on my skills, not crowds, not nothing. Everybody know what you need, just money, that's it. I'm gonna try to finish him because after last fight we have many questions. Everything I will finish here. I gotta read this quote to you guys from uh, Islam Magachev. And he says, what does this title represent? It means you're the best in the world. And if you're the best in the world, it doesn't matter who's gonna be standing across from you. What do I say? No, never. Let's do this. <laughs> Lightweight Championship of the World! This time, Islam was silenced any doubts about the previous decision, setting up Volkanovski with a devastating head kick. Here is my second home. All fans, thank you. This is uh, because of you always support me. Thank you. You like or you don't like, I am best fighter in the world right now. Thank you. Islam Makashev.